Monsters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, and primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family, so that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's a long weekend. Happy Memorial Day out there. Let's make it a great one, folks. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. This is a dynamite card, folks. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 360. We got NASDAQ up 289. S&P's up 58. Gold, gold contract up $1.90 traded. Six, uh, 1964 an ounce. We had silver up 50 cents, $23.41 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 95 cents, $72.78 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down four ticks, trading 112.16. The 30 year up 11 at 125.28 in King Dollar. King Dollar uh, trading down 53 ticks, 104.198. The euro is at 107. The yen is at 140. And the British pound is at 124 to 1. U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. So you get a higher market today in, inside the S&P. You have a contraction of volume. You're going after the highs. You know, I believe we just took it out, the high that we're talking about here. Let's see. So we hit 420.66. It's four, yeah, we just did four, and it's 420.72. Well, it's, we haven't taken it out. It's 420.72. That baby there has 100 million shares, and we're going to do about 65, 70 maybe. But the bottom line is that holiday, they, they're going to run it into the close. That being said, I want to show you this for Tuesday because I suspect we're going to be, we're going to pull back just down. It's not a big pullback, but. I want to show you this here. I don't think this is going to happen today. I mean, unless they walk out of this debt ceiling saying, hey, we have nothing happening. See this right here? That's the last time that we had anything happening on the upside. And so it's been running since 4187. So you got what? You got 33 points higher with no juice. You know, and then you, you actually did, when you pull back just a bit, you got, you got a little expansion of volume on the way down. But your holiday weekend, bottom line, folks, is that Memorial Day, 4th of July, markets, they, lo they love to run. We go into the NDX 100, um, and then this one, you know, this is pretty amazing uh, how the queues have actually run because it seemed two days ago that that swing point, that we were saying that it wants to go after it was a long way away. Well, <laughs> at two days up, the S and the Qs just went up 18 points thus far, and it's only 23 more points up to that swing point. And if you take a look at this, you know we took out the swing, you took it out with volume. So this this is game. That that's game up at that uh, 371, and right now you're at 349. 
Gold. We go go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract is in a confirmed ABC structure on the way down in 1903. You know, no, it's just, you know, it's up $1.40 today, but the bottom line is that in 1903, folks, is down where it came off the lows the last time. Because you got to remember, what happens is that we're in a different contract right now. We're trading the, the August contract. So that's where you did have strength coming off the bottom. I expect we're going to get down there. If we go to the XAU and the HUI, you got to take a look at the last time that there we go you're going to see the numbers that we were looking at you know the XAU first off blew by the top of it the, and you can see that was the last big day with volume so the top of that and the XAU is uh, 128 the bottom is 116 so we're going after 116 now. That's how this thing is shaking out. And in fact, one second, let me look. So that's 25. No, that's good. It's not. It's not an ABC down either because we did when we did, when we did break 22 million versus 19. Okay. So when we broke on Tuesday. You know, we had the wide price spread, but it didn't break on volume. So the next move would be down to the lower end of that. We go to the gold bugs index. That was a little bit stronger. We take a look at the gold bugs index. Get that volume in there. Same setup. Yeah, it's into it. It's into it. And let's me just check this first. So we, 17 million versus 12. Good. The same deal. So that's not an ABC down either. But with the HUI, I forget. I just check the HUI. We're 239. The top of that bar was 244. The bottom of that bar is 229. So 229 is game. We go to the GDX and we take a look at the GDX out here. GDX broke. Yeah, they didn't break with volume either, but the, the bottom of that bar, same bar. You can see how these, how these high volume bars, folks, you know, they, they can really give us some guidance. And on the GDX, the bottom of that bar that we're talking about already ate into the top of it. The bottom is uh, 29.76. And I should expect we're going to get there. Now, what's cool is that you can see as you're coming down there, it's contracting. And that's exactly what you want to see. You come down, you contract, and then what you want to see is a rejection of lower price. We go take a look at the 10-year out here, and the note and bond market, folks, is getting pretty tricky down right now because it looked like, to me, that it was going to bounce. And what ended up happening yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was actually, we, we broke. Yeah, we broke with volume, man. You know, so it's like, okay, you're going to try to get into this uh, 111.20 area. Right now you're at 112.05. And then if we get over to King Dollar, King Dollar still wants higher price. So this is going to get intriguing to watch how this works. You know, what King Dollar did do out here today, it rejected lower price, but it didn't go anywhere. You know, we re rejected 103.848. Right now you're at 104.199. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 345. Nasdaq up 296. S&P's up 58. We're going to come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is trading up by 359. Nasdaq's up 299. S&Ps are up 60. Let's go take a look at Ma Bell out here. So Ma Bell is testing its lows. So the low for the year is 14. The high is 21. It's trading 1543. At this level, it pays a dividend of 7.19%. Put this against, yeah, so you're going against the lows, and you do have a contraction of volume. So what you need now is a, is a rejection of lower price. So last time we were down here, Marbell got to 14.46, had 1.1 billion shares, almost 1.2, and right now you're only at uh, 700 million. So... That's what you want to see. Now, you need the rejection of lower price. We're, we're still laying right there. And then if we go to them, what the question was, then we got to go to Amazon, AMZN. And what the question was Amazon, I believe we had a large ABC structure on the way down, and the tiger wants to know how, what is the setup in correlation of that. Let me just look at this for a second. Okay, so I remember that's... There's a break. I'm trying to remember the break. Is that the break? Not quite sure. Maybe it's on a weekly. One second. Let me put this on a weekly. I think it was a monthly. Well, right now on a, on a weekly, you're, you're coming into there's some flack on Amazon at the 121 area. One, well, right where we are, 122. You can see this. We had volume there of uh, 528 million, and you're coming into that with uh, 343. And then let's go to uh, now. This is really intriguing too. I, this is one of the targets. We're talking about the aspect of. The Nikkei, the Nikkei, look at this, folks, okay? <laughs> you talk about, you know, we're going to be, you, you know what's so intri intriguing about this? We've been hearing more and more about Japan. And <laughs> when you look at this chart, I can see why you're hearing more and more about Japan. So watch this. I'm going to put a 50-year quarterly chart up. 
And <laughs> this, is, this is wild. So the all-time high in Japan is 38,000. Well, Japan's at 30,000. 30,000, folks, okay? From 6,700, oh, from 7,000. 7,000 in 2008. This is quite a move. And, you know, it's wild. What year was this? This was, yeah, because what happened is that Tommy actually went to, um, you know, they do those, you go to different schools. So Tommy was, t Tommy took Japanese for six years and then went to school over there for three or four weeks. And he stayed with a family. Um, and I think it was right around that time, actually, because the, the, everything was booming. That's the real bottom line. Um, so the, well, the Tiger wants to look at the Toyota, T TM. And uh, now this, this is the ADR and, and, and the U.S. The low is 130. The high is 170. I like the setup because what you have here is this. Watch, if I put this on the weekly... It looks to me, you're going to see this right there. Line this up. The last time we had volume on the way down happens to be 160. Is it 160? Man, I got it. 155. 155 right there. So you, you have, and you can see a couple months ago, this is monthly, uh, this is a weekly. You went up with volume, you pull back with light volume. I suspect that's where this thing wants to run up to. That's, that's how that seems to be set up right now. So, and the next time Toyota, they probably only come out with numbers twice a year. Let's see what they do. August 4th, August 4th. They're looking to do, um, they're still growing by two and a half percent a year. This is probably in the yen, but 38 trillion yen, trillion. <laughs> you better be good math over there if you start talking uh, yen, folks. Okay, no doubt about that. Let's go inside the NDX 100 because it was Marvell Technology that's putting the juice inside the NDX today. Yesterday you had um, Nvidia, today Marvell. Look at this. Marvell's up 31%. Pendurdu is up 18%. Broadcom's up 11%. Workday's up 9%. Taken away from it, O'Reilly Automotive's down one. That's about it. If we go over to Marvell, take a look at Marvell. This is a 52-week high. Blowout scene again. Let's just see on the aspect of where this has been. Oh, I see this has been a dog. Oh, this, is, this is a little bit different than... Well, now NVIDIA took a big hit, too. Now, the all-time high in Marvell is uh, 98. He's still only at 65. But <laughs> what a month Marvell had. Now, th there's a break of a downtrend. There's no doubt about that. So what you do want to do is that on any type of pullback, you want to be looking at Marvell in a monster way because that is a sign of strength. Sign of strength is wide price spread accelerated volume, and that's about as good as you can get. When in one month, it just took back... Mm, it took back about a year. Bingo, just like that. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have. Well, let's, uh, let's go see first. I suspect, so in the N NYSE, yeah, it's going to be low. You have 436, which makes sense. In the composite, you're at uh, 3.5. That's going to be low, too. That totally makes sense, though, going into a holiday w weekend. We go into the higher volume equities here, SPX. Okay, you get Tesla up $11, you get uh, Nvidia up another 10, you have uh, Microsoft up 6.9, Facebook's up 8.9. There's big numbers out here, man. We go to Meta, take a look at Meta. This has been a one way moonshot. Now, this is coming right into some heavy flack here yeah, for sure. I mean, this is where it got destroyed on the way down. And
and you're approaching, you're just approaching a 0.618. Hey, we'll see where this thing goes, man. When tech flies, though, you get it flies. Hey, don't forget, folks, okay, I'm man, Mr. Tim Wood. Come over to our website at TFNN. Um, if you listened to the show yesterday, um, you know, you'll, you can see the type of different indicators that Tim uses to, to look for market turns. He's going to be doing a workshop for all the targets and targets is coming up on uh, June 8th and 15th. All the information is on the front page of TFNN. And uh, if you didn't catch the show yesterday, I, I'd encourage you to uh, catch that show yesterday, folks, because, uh, well, first off, I had my grandson on Tommy at the first segment, <laughs> and then Tim was on for the, for the whole full show. So you can kind of see, no, you can see the different indicators that he actually uses and how you can use them in order to basically get a better understanding how this market moves. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So let's take a look at the, when I was doing that. Uh, the, the question is, is that the larger ABC structure that we were talking about on the way down. Okay, so let's bring this up because it is still here, but I'm gonna show you something. It's like, okay. Okay, so if you take a look at this on the monthly basis, what we had here is that you had a confirmed ABC structure down. And your price projection was 
313 and we hit 348. So what happens here is this, is that your, your, B, your C point is all the way up here to, you know, four, we're right at it, 421? No, my God, yeah, 431. You know, so it's, you know, at this particular point, you're just gonna be, gonna be really careful. I suspect that's where we're going, number one, up at that swing point. But you can see we did take that out, hit 413. It's like, okay, you know, you're 20 points away from it. You know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough call at this particular point to say, are you still in it? Meaning, it's turning into a complex one, that's for sure, if that's what's going on. You know, like right here, when I look at this right here, the S&P is still having a hard time basically holding this whole area. You know, so if we take a look at this, you're going to see that, you know, we've been consolidating for quite some time. We haven't got in the larger range. You know, so when I look at this, it's like, okay, no, this bottom still wants to be hit. You know, not the, not the very bottom. Like right now, if I just look at this, where we are, eight weeks ago, to me, still wants to be hit. See, that, that just sticking out so heavily. See, that, that, that low was sticking out so heavily. You know, we'll see. But I suspect first, first this upper level is going to get hit. And that upper level is still 10 points away. And that's going to be all about the NDX 100. You know, you've heard me say it a million times, man. The NDX 100 takes you up and takes you down. And it never ends. You know, the thing that's amazing is that chips, there's no doubt chips turn into a commodity, and they are a commodity. But chips are the same deal, man. Once the chip start, starts running, it's, it just keeps running. Um, if we go over to NVIDIA, what's going to be interesting about NVIDIA now is, is this the end of a run for another six months, eight months, or whatever? Because when you do look at it, this did more than a one to two ABC structure on the way up. And when you do something like that, it's an immediate change of trend. And I mean immediate. You know, when I, when I say immediate, like, you know, within a week, week and a half, whatever. Um, now, look at that bar, though. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that bar is something else. Let's see. And that bar, a billion. Yeah, the bar is going to be taken out with volume. It's going to be taken out with volume. So... That is something else. There's no doubt about it. And those numbers were something else, too. I mean, the numbers that they came out with, they did $7 billion. And you see the jump here? This jump here is something else, man. $7 billion, and it, going forward, $11 billion, $11 billion, $12 billion. Now, check this out. This is what is, like, over the top. This company was taken in $11 billion a year five years ago. Now it's taken in $11 billion every three months. <laughs> and they're saying that they're still going to grow by 22% a year. Yeah. That is something else, man. That's, that's the state of where those, those chips are, and the chips are driving it. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Let's go over and take a look at Google, no, Microsoft. And when we talk about the, you know, the, the tools, you know, they always say that, you know, they, you know forget gold mining, get, sell the tools. I man, Mr. Dave White used to say that a lot. Um, and in, in NVIDIA's case, guess what? They, they are the tools for everyone into AI, everyone into gaming, everyone into um, Bitcoin, you know, so Bitcoin's not going away, gaming's not going away, and AI is just starting, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's a trade, and it's a play big time. Microsoft out here, yeah, Microsoft is uh, higher with volume. The, uh, it's, it looks like this, we're at 332. Yeah, this is an ABC up, right? Yeah. That high is game. That highest game on Microsoft, no doubt about it. Let's go into the oil market and take a look at oil. Oil's having a hard time uh, getting any traction going here. 
You had 72.88. Yeah, he's still at the lower end of this consolidation. If we go to, uh, let's go to Exxon Mobil first. You know, you can't feel bad about the oil companies. They've made billions, that's for sure. Yeah, this is Exxon, Chevron, XLE. They want the bottom of the range. The bottom of the range there is that, that 98 area. We go to the XLF. Let's see where these banks are going. There's no action there either. Yeah, and let's go to Apple. All the action, folks, really is in the text, but there's enough of them. I mean, that's the bottom line. Um, because if you, if you, well, here, let me go to Apple first. <clears throat> Look at that. So Apple's approaching its highs. The contraction's happening on Apple, though. Let's, you know, but it doesn't mean that it won't get acceleration on the way up. Because what we had, see, what we had yesterday, was it was interesting. If you, if you looked at the NASDAQ yesterday, you say, okay, how many more days can you get something that goes up 30%? Well, guess what? The next day, you had Marvell go up 30%. That's the juice that you're seeing inside these NQs. You know, so that, and that, you know, like NVIDIA had been on a run. Marvell had not been on a run. You know, but bottom line is that that's what's putting monster juice inside of the NQs today. There's no, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, there's a lot of other chip stocks in there, you know, that, uh, let's just, I want to see what Marvell had to say here. Oh, well, there we go. If they, Marvell Technology soared 24% after, you know, it's up 30%. Projected AI revenue for 2024 is going to double from a year ago. The company also reported first quarter adjusted earnings per share that beat and provided second quarter guidance. Analysts had a positive return. Marvell surged. Yeah, the, the AI has emerged as a key growth driver for Mar Marvell. We are enabling, which we are enabling with our leading network connectivity products and emerging cloud optimization silicone platform. AI is the deal, man. It's here. It's here for good. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 352, NASDAQ's up 282, S&Ps are up 57. So you got the debt limit talks, and I, I would say that, you know, looking at the calendar, folks, okay, I guess the June 1st deal uh, date <laughs> wasn't really a June 1st date because uh, bottom line is that we're talking about the 25th of May right now. And, uh, you know, no one's too concerned about the, the debt talks. Um, the releases that are coming out, we know that, okay, all the congressmen are home, the releases that are coming out, uh, um, you know, I thought we made progress uh, yesterday. I want to make progress again today. Um, you know, they are, let's say, uh, negotiations for House, McCarthy, House Speaker McCarthy and President Biden um, are in regular communication throughout the day Friday. That's all it says. Yeah. So um, it doesn't even say it doesn't even say that they're going to be in. Re Let me get this. There is forward progress, but each time the, the forward progress the issues that remain become more difficult, and more challenging. McHenry said he's the main. Um, negotiator for McCarthy. So that is step by step, small step by small step. At some point, this thing can come together or go the other way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to come together, but. Hey, we'll see how it goes over the weekend. But I suspect, you know, I, I suspect it really that what's going on is that the June 1st date isn't a June 1st date. It's going to be like June 15th or something. We're going to be dealing with this for another two or three weeks. Another two weeks. That's that's where it looks to me. We're going to take a look at. Let's go take a look at a few of the other. Um, well, no, S O X X. Is that the? Yeah, I want to look at this for a second. Is this the? <laughs> okay, so this is the S O X X. Yeah, this is just a the one by one semiconductor. But look at this run. Okay, so the low for the year is 287. The high is 492. And look at the doubles and triples on this. Look at this. In two days, in three days, this equity went from 426 to 489. That is something else. Yeah, look at that, though. It's all relative, I guess, because when you look at it, it's way off its highs, too. Damn. But, you know, you want to see something crazy. This is volume off the high and has volume at a high. That's, you don't see that often. Volume off the high is a deep retracement, which you got. Volume at the high, you're going to be back to the high. So there's still, there's still runway room out there. And, of course, you get, so you get Amazon... What's going to happen, uh, let's just see the Amazon for a second. I want to see the, the amount of cloud revenue. Because what, what happens here, so picture what happens, folks, is that you have the first, so you have the chip makers, right? Then you have the software makers that are going to be making the AI for the chips. Then you have the cloud that's going to hold everything. So, they, yeah, they do break these out, okay? So Amazon 
right now, that breaks it out. They do 80 billion a year. Well, you can expect the next quarter probably, that number's gonna, well, right now, they're growing that by 10% a year. But I expect that's gonna go up astronomically. As is, let's go to Microsoft and see if Microsoft breaks it out also. Because that's, that's the next move. Because the amount of power and cloud it takes is pretty intense. Yeah, so Microsoft's at 73 billion in the cloud. They're growing at 28%, no, 8% that is. That's gonna go exponential too. Yeah. The, you know, the amazing part, about the cloud, folks, is that that's how everything started. You know, if you, depending on how long you've been, you know, out there, the big data general computers, the Wang computers, all of those, I, I, I remember it so well because I was using a data general computer inside a room and the computer itself was like six feet rail to rail. The room was freezing. And in this particular room here, it was only like uh, four feet by four feet. And now that ran my office, but at night, you know, the bottom line, I had, I'd, I could, I'd go right off the thing. But, and that, and that, and I suspect, and by the way, <laughs> that big computer, our phones are um, more powerful than that computer. <laughs> yeah, that's how crazy it is. That's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Let's go take a look at the uh, J.P. Morgan. Let's see what J.P. Morgan's up to because that's the biggest bang for sure. Let's hang it. Say it's hanging there, but it looks like the the spreads that the banking. You know, if we, if we look at the beginning of the year, what we had is that. When normally, folks, what ends up happening is that if interest rates go higher, normally banks can make a lot of money. Now, the difference in this time is that we went exponentially higher, and simultaneously, the banks start getting a huge amount of competition. And so they haven't been able to work on the spreads. That's, that's how this is shaken out. Now, we have, we're already at five to five and a quarter. The next meeting is on June 14th. So the real kicker is, you know, are you going to get a next quarter a point? Well, the numbers that came out this morning, you know, let's just take a look at these for a second. So we had, okay, personal consumption, price, the, the personal consumption, that's the PCE. Now, the, the PCE is what the Fed looks at all the time. That came in, you know, faster than, you know, and higher than the Fed's looking for. It came in at four tenths of one percent in April. You know, so bottom line is that uh, from a year ago, it climbed 4.4 compared to 4.2 last month. Food and energy at the core increased four tenths of one percent, and that's 4.7. Now, when you look at 4.7, think about this for a second. These numbers, man, when, when they come in with these numbers, these, as far as I'm concerned, the numbers that we're actually paying for product are much more than this, okay? I mean, are you paying more than 4.7% for food in, in a grocery store than last April? Yeah, I mean, not even close. So, I know that's an average all around. There's no doubt about that. But the bottom line is that we're paying a lot more, man. And, you know, they, the, the, and see, what, what else happens is, we'll get down to the 2 or 3%, but that's the 2 or 3%. It doesn't mean prices go down, folks. It means that from year over year, then we're hitting 2 or 3%, because that means I think we get the expansion that went up about 30%. Yeah, a good 30%. Now it's going to be like, okay, are we going to be, you know, 10% higher than that, and then it levels out to 2 or 3%? You know, we'll see. Dow Industrials up 317, Nasdaq up 272, S&P's up 53. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So let's go over to Toll Brothers and take a look at Toll Brothers quick. So it's going to get intriguing here is that, you know, we know that rates are higher, you know, but what happens in inflation, folks, is that you have higher rates, then the real question is, what is the real rate of return? Or what are you, real rate are you paying, okay? And what you're gonna see here, if you're looking at some of these home builders, the bottom line is that they're approaching their highs again, man. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, this, is, this has volume, man. This has volume going up there. And so what this is, it is, it is a combination of that, okay, let's say the rates are running at, at 10. Well, if, if we're running at 10, and you, let's say you're paying, let's, let's say you're paying seven on the mortgage, but if inflation's running at 10, you're still at a negative three. Now, on top of that, what's happening is that the homes that you're already in are worth a lot more money because you can't replace them. You know, what you should do over the weekend, you know, this is a great weekend, everyone has, you know, you're off, your vacations, a lot of you are going to be at barbecues. Look around your backyard and look around your house and look to how much wood you have in your home, outside your home, and how much stone. And if you have a pool, okay? All of those prices, even though lumbers come down because you have to get the labor to put it in, have gone up a good 30 to 35%. You know? So it's intriguing because right now it, it seems to me some people actually selling their homes less expensive 
than they actually should be because I know you, you can't replace the value. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's, it's not a close call, but because of the way that it's structured, all we need is about another year of inflation, which I think you're going to get, and people are really going to catch on to that whole deal. That hold it, man. I got to get more money for my house because I can't replace that house even close. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Tuesday morning. Have a great holiday weekend. No drinking, no driving. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, folks. Go get them, folks.